Photoreceptors, or rods and cones, enable us to see in day or night. Retinal pigment epithelial, or RPE cells, nourish the rods and cones. Without healthy RPE cells, the photoreceptor cells are damaged or die. Once the photoreceptor cells has been lost, only the cell transplantation will cure. But before the photoreceptor cells are damaged, we can rescue the photoreceptor cells by transplanting the new healthy retinal pigment epithelial cells. At the Riken Center for Developmental Biology in Kobe, Japan, a way has been found to create human photoreceptor cells and RPE cells from human embryonic stem cells. They are working on a way to purify photoreceptor cells because some of these cells can cause tumors. One of the drawbacks to transplantation of cells made from embryonic stem cells is that human recipients will have to take immunosuppressive drugs because these cells come from another person. In a dramatic development, research is underway to use induced pluripotent stem cells for the treatment of macular degeneration because these cells would be made from the same person, eliminating the need for immunosuppressive drugs as well as any religious objections. It is hoped that RPE cell transplantation clinical trials will begin within three years. For photoreceptor cells, it will take a much longer time, hopefully within 10 years. Regenerative medicine is not a dream. At the beginning, the effect of the regenerative medicine for retinal diseases will have small effect, and then gradually the treatment will be improved. And it will be one of the main treatments in the retinal disease, I'm sure.